The member from Oshawa. Mr. Speaker, and I will be sharing my time with the member from Niagara Falls. I am glad to have this opportunity to respond to this government's budget and to focus on pensions. Ontarians deserve retirement security and decent pensions. The next generation is not going to be taken care of. Two-thirds of Ontarians do not currently have a workplace pension. It is difficult to imagine our province where the majority of our aging population will not have the resources to pay their own way, to afford housing, to buy necessities, to contribute to the economy, or to live with dignity. It is a pretty grim reality that we are facing. We stand in this legislature and talk. And over the last few days, we've heard talk about what is or isn't being done to address youth unemployment in this province, and it is worrying. This talk is cheap. Not only do we need to take action now, but we need to start planning for futures. How on earth can our youth, without employment, start to save for retirement when they can't even pay their tuition bills today? Debt continues to balloon, jobs don't just appear, and future stability is not on the horizon. If their own government is not planning for the future and isn't forward-thinking, how can the youth of today be expected to look forward to the future? Which brings us to the budget and brings us to the promise of public pensions in Ontario. The members on the government side of this room groan and heckle when we talk about broken Liberal promises. And far be it from me to beat a dead horse, or in this case beat a dead Trojan horse, but the question must be asked for the sake of two-thirds of Ontarians without a workplace pension, and for people living in a never-ending cycle of financial struggle, and for people who deserve and want stability in their retirement, and ask for people who want to one day be able to retire. And the question is this, will we ever even see this Ontario Retirement Pension Plan? The NDP supports the idea of public pensions. That's why we proposed them. The government will inevitably parrot for four years that since we didn't support the budget, we don't support pensions. That's nonsense. The NDP supports progressive public programs. We don't, however, and never will support Harper-style pooled retirement pension plans, or PRPPs, that put banks ahead of people. It is concerning that the government is now apparently hawking bank products. Admitti admittedly, I am a new MPP, but I was under the impression that we work for the people of Ontario and not for private financial institutions. PRPPs are not part of an Ontario retirement pension plan. They are financial products. I see the same green comfy chairs around this legislature that everyone else does, but I don't get confused and see green TD bank chairs. I see constituencies. This is the Ontario legislature. People do not come here to withdraw funds, make deposits, or purchase investments, but will they soon be able to buy PRPPs? In all of the budget and pension talk, the government is selling the idea of an Ontario retirement pension plan to Ontarians. The comforting and progressive language we are all hearing from the government speaks to the need for stability and the ability to live with dignity into retirement. However, there has been quiet mention, almost as an aside, about giving Ontarians voluntary options. These voluntary add-ons, extra investments, bank products are not part of an Ontario retirement pension plan. They are favours for banks and investment companies who, incidentally, will be thrilled when Ontarians start putting their money into bank coffers instead of pensions. I'm not saying these aren't investments, but losing on average 20 to 30 per cent due to fees over the life of the investment is not the kind of retirement security that Ontarians should be banking on when it comes to pensions. Pensions. In the budget, the Liberal government has promised an Ontario retirement pension plan in 2017 which is three years from now. I would like to wonder aloud, Mr. Speaker, if I may, I wonder if the PRPPs will be such a success for the government's financial partners and supporters that those institutions will push to keep them the only option. I wonder if the banks who seem to have so much say in this plan, if the banks will say they don't want the government to implement the public part of the plan. The Ontario Retirement Pension Plan is going to be immensely complex, of course. I wonder, though, if in three years from now, and only one year before an election, if the Liberal government might hesitate to implement such a complex plan at the end of their reign. 
and I wonder if it wouldn't be a better idea to lead with the Ontario Retirement Pension Plan. Perhaps once Ontarians are looked after, banks can sell their own products, because by then Ontarians might be in a position to afford voluntary options. I am pleased to serve Ontario as the NDP pension critic. I look forward to working to hold this Liberal government accountable when it comes to the future financial stability of workers and Ontarians across all of the constituencies represented by these comfy green chairs. So many layers of this budget are hidden behind positive, progressive language and early phase spending. So many of those later phase layers, however, are going to do real damage to our programs, our services and our families across this province. This budget is not unlike an onion. The more layers we peel back, the more reason to cry. Odds are that this budget will pass, and with it, these two-tiered pension promises. If this government is truly committed to the idea of helping Ontarians plan for and afford their futures, if they truly believe in retirement security and stability, then they should lead with the public pensions and not with the Harper-style pooled retirement pension plans, which commit money and benefit to corporations and banks. As I said before, banks and big business are doing just fine and they are not planning to retire. I hope we will see this government reevaluate and reprioritize its pension plan and prioritize Ontarians over financial institutions. I honestly hope we will actually see this public Ontario retirement pension plan and not just hear about it. Mr. Speaker, I implore the government, please stop talking about bank products. Please don't start selling bank products. Please design and implement a progressive public pension plan for hardworking people across Ontario who deserve one.